we are now looking at custom cards which means basically non zebra card or card that has not been tested by engineering and for which we do not have the proper values as a temperature and a speed to print correctly on those cards and print correctly means first we print everywhere on the card and second we are not going to bend or melt the card so if you do have a card which is unknown to you the only solution here would be to select either custom one or two you have two possibilities they are basically the same so that leaves you the possibility to have uh, two different cards so let's start with uh, custom one when you select custom one contrary to predefined card as you can see here everything is changeable so you can select if uh, your card thickness is in inches or mil whatever so let's say 30 mil which is uh, classic you can select if you have max stripe or not if you have max stripe you have to select if it's high or low core if you do have a contact encoding if you have a my fair encoding and you have here for temperature and therefore speed for single side printing double side printing for each cases basic values like in this example 170 degree for the front and 160 if you print a double side those are starting value and probably are going to be too high for the card you are going to use so the only thing you have to do here is to play and this is basically trial and error on changing those value and as a you can see here you can go from 0 to 200 as a maximum and minimum temperature and there you just have to select different value let's for example select here 155 you click OK <coughs> automatically when you are going to send a uh, print job the rollers are going to uh, going up or down in temperature according to you, you what you have selected here what you have to do is to sit with your customer's card and try changing those either temperature most of the time you can play also a little bit on the speed here to get a card where the surface has been printed all over and the card is not bending or melting evidently inside the printer there is no basically definition of what the temperature should be for a known card so you have to uh, look at uh, yourself so here try let's say by going down from the uh, proposed value by five degrees and so on and uh, you go until you find a proper setup of temperature and uh, speed which satisfies for having again a card printed everywhere on the surface and not bending you can evidently start with the uh, default value which are proposed when you uh, select a custom one but if uh, the uh, PVC is not of a uh, let's call it a not that good quality you might have a card either bending or eventually uh, if it's too, too much uh, melting so from the uh, proposed value I would suggest you to go down by 10 degrees so you start at 170 try 160 try 150 and when you reach a point where the card is starting not to uh, print on all the surface so you are going to have a misprint then re-increase a little bit the temperature by five degrees until you get a compromise unfortunately it's trial and error and you will have to do that if you are using cards which are totally unknown or untested by zebra